Before we start, I just wanted you guys to know that this craft was pulled from this video. So click the card up top to see the full video and you can click a link below. I'll have it linked below, but it's an adorable book. You guys should definitely check it out. And there are many more crafts in that video. So check that out. Thanks. Enjoy the video. So we kept seeing this pinwheel throughout the story. We saw it in the car, and then we saw it again at the store when they were checking out. So I said, oh, that's definitely a sign that we need to make this for our next craft. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make this using household items only. All right, so start out with a sheet of construction paper. Mine is 18 inches by 12 inches, but you don't need it that big, honestly. And this is way too big, and I'll show y'all at the end what this ends up looking like, but it's way too big for a pinwheel. All right, go ahead and cut the excess off because we ultimately want a square to work with. I want you to fold it one more time so we have four folded lines to work with. And then you're going to grab those scissors and you're going to cut halfway down the folded line like I did so you can fold the paper just like this. You want it to stick in the middle, okay? So you're gonna do that for each fold. You're gonna cut on the fold just like this, halfway down. And this is the look you want before we start folding. Now, I would have rather used some a glue stick for this, but I'm gonna just use the Elmer's glue because that's right next to me. I'm gonna put a little bit of glue in the center and I'm going to fold the right side of that triangle. I'm going to skip the other side, fold the other right side, skip a side, then fold. So basically I'm folding the right side of each of the triangles to the inside like this. And you're going to make them all meet in the center because that's gonna be our pivot point and let it sit until it dries. Now the bad thing about liquid glue is it's gonna take a minute to dry, that's why I'm still holding it. But if you want it to be faster, I would use hot glue or glue stick. So I'm gonna show you really quickly one more time uh, what that looks like with this beautiful marbled printed sheet that we did in this craft. You can see this craft on my channel as well. Just click the card up top. But this is how we printed this paper. It was super simple and super fun. So I was going to try to use tape, but tape does not work because this is actually cardstock. So I had to use a hot glue gun. Now the only problem with using a hot glue gun is just don't make the glue too thick because you're gonna have to ultimately poke a uh, tack through this center and if you got too much glue packed on there it's gonna be darn near impossible so use as thin as possible the amount of glue on this glue stick so I'm going to take a tack and I'm going to stick it in the center and I'm going to attach it to this paper towel roll right here Now I wish you could just take the tack and stick it into the paper towel roll like this, but it's not enough leverage to hold it. So what you're gonna need is a paper clip. And I took a paper clip and I unfolded it and I basically made a L shape and I fished it through paper towel roll and I used that as my leverage. And then I took the hot glue gun and I put some glue all around it so it doesn't move and it stays in place. And then I take the pinwheel and I'm opening up the hole a little bit with my tack. And when I feel that it is big enough, I'm going to slide it on my paper clip and it will be able to spin just like this. And to keep the pinwheel in place, I'm going to take a little piece of an eraser and I am going to put it on my paper clip just like this. I'm not gonna push it down too tight, but just leave enough room so that it can spin freely and you are done. That is how you make a pinwheel. And real quick, another thing I did with my super size pinwheel is I attached it to a straw using a rubber band and a bead. If you wanna see more about how that works, I can drop another video and show y'all that. It worked fine. I mean, the pinwheel was a little too big for the straw, but 
<laughs> it would work if it was uh, a smaller fraction of the size. But anyway, let me know if y'all want to see that. Um, I could definitely show y'all how to make that as well. But thank you so much for watching this video and getting all these awesome ideas for you to try with the kiddos at home. And don't forget guys, like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.